Hello everyone, it's Alicia from Tiny Hands Forever. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you guys um, decided to join me today. I started a tag named Back to the Future. And the purpose of the tag was to sort of introduce some of the things that maybe your children, your grandchildren, or even vintage clothing from the 70s, 80s, and 90s whatever people consider vintage today, to be able to take it and bring it to the present and share it with us on the reborn babies. For example, today I'm going to share something that my son wore on baby John John, and he is now 28 years old. And so I wanted to share that today. But the problem that I'm having is that I wasn't really sure because I'm not really good about finding name tags uh, or how to title a name tag. This is all new to me. Um, I've, never, I've never been good when it comes to things like that. And um, it was brought to my attention that perhaps I needed to incorporate the word reborn in the title. And this is where I'm stuck because I feel that... Um, I don't know how to do it. It was bad enough coming up with that one name. And now that I think about it, back to the future, where it's really not the future, it's the present. It is from the bad past into the present. And perhaps I could have called it uh, a blast from the past onto our reborns. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm hoping that perhaps you guys can come up with a title or have some suggestion that I may be able to rename my tag because I think it would be really fun to see all the different things that people may see as a vintage outfit and even those outfits that have some kind of sentimental value um, with most people and to be able to um, put it on their reborn um, I think it's fun because I, for the most part, most of the um, little outfits that I kept as in my keepsake from my kids, that's where they sit. And I do have my grandkids' outfits. Um, I just have a few, of course, and they hang in the closet and I always wonder what to do with it. And so I'm finding that this is a fun way to be able to... Um, go back and relive some of the, relive some of that time um, when you watch your children or um, your grandkids um, and share some of the things that they um, wore and just see the little outfit again and remind yourself how little they were. So to start here with John John, I created John John. He is available on Reborns.com. He has a really good movement, as you can see, which is, I, I, I'm so in love with him. I love the way his head falls, his legs, they will curl up for you. They will stay and they will also have a lot of free movement. Their arms will stay and you can, you know, really do a lot of realistic poses with him. And I like that about him. But he is available on Reborns.com on Tiny Hands Forever if you guys are interested in looking into maybe bringing this little one home. So, I'm going to start with the white t-shirt like I always do. Every outfit, even with my own children, I always had to start with a white t-shirt. Um, with the Reborn, the reason for that is to hide some of the cloth um, fabric on the Reborn. With my kids, was just that added <laughs> um, to me protection because you know how babies drool. And I always was so concerned that they would get cold if, I, if they felt, you know, some wetness to their skin. And so I became a hooked on baby's t-shirt. And um, I'm going to share with you a t-shirt that was around when my kids were little. You, you don't see much of that today. Um, let me see where can I put it at. Oh, here it is. This type of t-shirt um, is what you mostly saw. They crisscross. They only went halfway. And um, they, you know, had little buttons on the side. And 
this is what most most children um babies wore at the time and this is my son's um baby t-shirt that i managed to keep from from him when he was tiny little one like this one and i decided even though i'm using a white t-shirt i i want to just put it on him because um i just think it'd be fun just to see it once again being used on a little baby and yes <laughs> One of the advantages that I have, as you can see, there's no stain on the uh, the T-shirt is because I used to breastfeed. And that's the advantage when you breastfeed. You, you avoid a lot of those uh, milk stain that is unavoidable uh, from the uh, milk that you mix. But with the uh, breast milk, it was easy to keep things nice and clean and without stain so the other thing that i wanted to share and i this actually this little thing um it's like um i don't know what they call it a lot of people in the caribbeans or you know in puerto rico they wore this type of um outfits with their baby and they even came with a, a matching diaper cover which unfortunately I cannot, for the life of me, and I'm so mad at myself, I cannot find what I do with the diaper cover because I really wanted to share with you guys. And, but yeah, at least I have this. I'm going to relieve the moment. Relive, I keep saying relieve. <laughs> relive the moment when my little son, who's a man now, wore this and it was big around his hand, just like that. <laughs> and so I really like that. I only wish I, I knew what I did with the um, the diaper cover. In, in some countries, it's okay to have flower print on a little boy. That's, that does not take away from the fact that he is male. They, they do tend to put... Um, bows and ribbons and i know that here in, in the in america they shy away from flowers or anything in this type of print is mostly seen for little girls but yeah that's what he wore like i said i wish i had his um matching diaper really completed but because it's cold i thought that i could put some little knee highs on him and where is it <laughs> head right here to keep him warm here's one to keep his little legs warm isn't that cute i love these little rattle um knee highs <laughs> look at that love the pattern and now where is the other one that's the question here it is okay look at that isn't that sweet that's so um this style is so hispanic to me um the the the, the just the the whole setting um i just know it helps me relive <laughs> my moments with my my son but yeah that's where he he looks like and with this outfit, I love it so much. It makes them so babyish. Now, another thing that I also wanted to share that belonged to my son was this cap. This is his hospital cap. It was different at the time. They were um, people volunteering, making um, knitted hat for the babies to go home with. This is what they wore. And so this is his little blanket, the yellow and blue. And I thought, let me just put it together and just sort of like bring summer into winter, <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, I love it. I love this baby. It's so, so cute. Look how cute. Look at the rolls on his legs. He turned out so nice. I just love him. And I'm enjoying him. Um, 
until somebody decides to take them home i'm going to really miss them so please guys if you like my um channel if you enjoy this moment with me please give me a thumbs up um subscribe that will help my channel grow and also um let me know please what you think would be a good title name for my tag um back to the future so if i can get some suggestion that would be awesome if not i may just keep um a, a blast to the past and i'm not even sure if i'm saying that correct a bad uh oh my goodness a blast to the past with your reborns let me know what you guys think please any suggestion is very much welcome thank you and hope you guys are having a great day see you in the next video